Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and today is December 22nd and uh, we're going to be reading from our new book, Each Day a New Beginning. And I'm grateful that you're here with me. I needed the reading. So when I, when I decided to start this channel, it's so that I would read and practice reading every day because I have a problem with consistency or I've had one. So um, it's been great for me because I can see that I'm showing up for myself first and foremost. And I get to read readings and the daily reflections so that I can just sit down, you know, and just do one thing. So that's what I'm doing. And um, I'm grateful for, for all those who are joining along and listening and you know, you can listen to this in the car, um, but also like when you're cooking or just in the morning, read along with me. If you have a book, if you don't, that's okay too. I also have over 365 days plus of readings of different books. Um, Courage to Change is one of them, One Day at a Time in al -Anon, and the other one is Hope for Today, as well as the whole entire Course in Miracles, and that's daily lessons. So anyway, I hope that um, you're doing good today. And if not, it's okay to live in life just as it is. And um, working on changing our, my, I'm working on changing my perception on everything and every one, everything so that I can have an open mind and um, a better way for me to live each day, one day at a time. So, all right, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. December 22nd, it starts off with a quote. When action grows unprofitable, gather information. When information grows unprofitable, sleep. And that's apropos, my bed is in the background. <laughs> That's a quote from Ursula K. Le Guin. An action grows unprofitable. Gather information, research, see what else you can find out about it. And when information grows unprofitable, take a break and sleep. Yeah, I like that. Sometimes we need to turn away from what's troubling us. Sometimes we need to turn it over, says the third step in our 12-step um, program, turn it over. Hanging on to a situation for which no solution is immediately apparent only exaggerates the situation. It is often said the solution to any problem lies within. However, turning the problem over and over in our minds keeps our attention on the outer appearance, not on the inner solution. Can you relate to that? So rest, meditation, quiet attention to other matters, like to keep our, just keep doing the things we need to do. Other people besides ourselves, opens the way for our higher power, God, the universe, to reveal the solution. Every problem can be solved and no answer is ever withheld for long. We need to be open to it. We need to be open to it. So we need to step away from our ego. That I want this to be a certain way. I just see it. It's the only way or the highway. <laughs> That's ego for sure. We need to step away from our ego outside of the problem and then listen fully to the words of friends, trusted friends, to the words that rise from our own hearts. Let's go to journal and pay attention to that. So too much thinking, incessant analyzing will keep any problem a problem. I will rest from my thoughts. I will give my attention 
wholly to this moment, to the present, right here and right now. Therein will come the solution and when least expected. So for me, I'd like to hear what comes up for you in the comments, please. I love to read them and um, other people as well. So, um, but for me, what comes up for that is like, for instance, you have a thought, you're expressing that thought. And then all of a sudden you're like, what was I even saying? Maybe someone interrupted you or maybe you got distracted because something happened. And you're like, oh, I had something really important to say. I had something really important that I wanted to tell you. And you lose it, it's gone. So what I have found that works for me is to know, just to have that trust that it's, it's somewhere, it's there. It's not lost and all it needs to do is just kind of come back up. So hi, sweetheart, my cat, my cat little moon. She nudging me. So like right now, like I'm losing my train of thought, but it's going to come back. So, okay. So it's about losing train of thought. And so what I do is I'm like, well, I'll think of something else. I'll, I'll do like I'll wash a dish or I'll call a friend or, you know, I'll just keep seeing what's the next, next task that's in front of me with that trust that the universe, myself, my higher power has that. If it's important, it will be there. And you're going to remember sometime during the day. Maybe it'll be immediately after you go and sweep the patio. <laughs> And you're like, oh, that's it. I mean, can you relate to that? Because that happened to you. So it's about trusting for me this and to also um, be open to that, be, you know, kind to myself, knowing that, okay, you know, ease that, that self-critical talk. Like, oh, I forgot again, you know, like then I'm making it bigger than it is. It'll be okay. I'm okay right now catastrophizing just keeps me at a distance from my higher power. So if I'm like, oh, and, oh, I never remember. Oh, this, blah, blah. yeah, then I'm not going to remember because I'm too involved with myself and the drama that I'm like rising up, you know, like, you know, you know, like if you're going to clean ashes out of the, out of the fireplace, you don't want to like use a big, whiskey broom you want to like have it in a contained area so that it doesn't go everywhere like problems it's a problem let's deal with it as it needs to keep it as minimal as possible as it is without making it bigger so that's what I have today and um yes it is December 22nd, so um, onward with the rest of the year coming. The uh, full moon's going to be, actually, the, not the full moon, but the new moon. So to start something new, new intention, it's in Capricorn. So it's, you know, what type of, like I started off talking about, for me, the reason why I started to read on this channel was so that I can show up and have something that's that I can depend on and that Capricorn moon is about thinking about how you feel when you can depend on yourself and your higher power connecting to that like in the third step prayer and I'll say that we'll say that right now God I offer myself to thee to build with thee and work with thee as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondages of self, the ego, so that I may better do your will. Take away my difficulties so that victory over them bear witness to those I would help with thy power, 
with thy love and thy way of life. May I do thy will always. Amen. That's giving it to the universe and the higher power. But connecting, when using the word thy, it's a connection between that bridge, that's connection, the energy with you and your higher power, God, as you understand it, whatever that looks like for you. Okay, so that's one of the prayers I say every morning and every night before I go to bed and whenever I'm faced with something that I need to be still with for a moment so that I can come from a good place the best I can. So I'll go ahead and say the serenity prayer and end this. And I love you guys so much. Make sure you like it and so other people can find us because they are. And um, I really appreciate that. And other people are appreciating the, the readings and um, it's all good. All right, so God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. Other people, places, and things outside of ourselves. To have the courage to change the things that we can. It's ourselves and our attitudes. And the wisdom to know the difference. One day at a time. So keep coming back. It works if you work it. Because you're worth it. And you're loved. And the universe holds you loves you. I'll see you soon.